Hello and welcome to Championship Season Mode on F1 2015 where we are going to drive as Daniel Ricciardo. Uh, we will be on Legend AI, uh, 15 minutes practice, full qualifying and 25% race. Um, as the Q1 results, which are about to come up now, um, is the big names were Grosjean, Ericsson and Button, two out with the two Manorouches. You join us here for our first lap in Q2, pretty much at the start of the session um, now. Uh, in Q1 we didn't do very well, uh, we were only just about ahead of our teammate, but we did use the prime tyres, uh, as well as most of the field used the option tyres. Um, as we come to the end of our lap, uh, where is it going to put us? It's going to put us in five. Um, and I wasn't very happy with the lap, to be honest, so I went out for uh, Stupidly, I went and did another lap, as you can see, I started the second lap straight away. And it was only when I crossed the line that I realised that if we were to get through, these were going to be our starting tyres for the race. So I went out again at the end of the session and I didn't improve. So these tyres that are on the car now are the tyres that we'll be starting the race on, which is a, a huge mistake by me and uh, one that I will probably come to regret in the race. Um, as you can see, these are the Q2 results. Our teammate got knocked out. And at the start of Q3, I don't know if you can see, but the, uh, we went out for our flying lap and the game dropped us here and there was a car spinning off uh, at the start of the third sector and it was Kimi Raikkonen. And this is where I could, this is the only place I could pick the footage up as he goes spinning crazily and then starts his lap. We then come, uh, do our, uh, then we come round to the first corner and Nico Rosberg is kind of, well I don't really know what he's doing at the first corner to be perfectly honest, well on tur at turn two I should say. He's just not really doing anything, he's moving forwards, backwards and weaving his wheel around. Um, we have set provisional time in and this is our uh, final lap, we're on provisional pole at the moment. I can tell you that Bottas, Rosberg and Raikkonen None of them set a lap time, so I don't even know what happened to Bottas. Um, so uh, hopefully we can solidify our position at the top of the timesheets with Vettel second, Maldonado third, and Carlos Sainz in fourth in his uh, first race in Formula One. Now this is us coming through the, uh, at the end of the middle sector. We've gone purple in the first two sectors, looking like we're going to extend our lead at the top of the timesheets as we're now uh, into the third sector, but we've made a mistake and I honestly thought I'd thrown the lap away, but I kept in, I kept in it, I very nearly bailed the lap and I, carried, uh, I decided to carry on since we were right at the end of the lap as uh, we do run a little bit wide uh, on the penultimate corner and the final corner I'm finding so difficult on this game, it's so hard as you can see we're almost running out of fuel as well but we come across and we've gone quicker, we've lost time in the third sector but it doesn't matter we've gained time in the Good first job. and second sectors and we have taken pole position Hamilton second, Vettel third, Massa fourth, Sainz who has a grid penalty from Q1 um, then Maldonado, Perez and Rosberg, Raikkonen and Bottas none of them set a lap time um, so we're now going to the race It's nearly five o'clock here local time and welcome to race day here in Melbourne, Australia. The cars are on the grid and they should be setting off shortly for the formation lap. The crowd are really pumped for this race, especially as they have an Australian driver on pole. Well, Daniel Ricciardo is a very popular figure in the paddock and the crowd will certainly be rooting for him. I hope he can deliver them a win, which would be a wonderful way to start the season. Kimi Raikkonen will be hoping that the same Urs problems that hampered him and his Ferrari throughout qualifying have been resolved ahead of today's race. Well, the problem surfaced at the start of qualifying and meant that Kimi didn't have full power for the majority of the session. His ERS simply wasn't boosting as it's designed to. Missing that 160 brake horsepower definitely affected where he qualified on the grid. So it looks like it was an ERS problem for Kimi Raikkonen. Uh, the strategy is going to be a one-stop. And okay, here we are, here we waiting for the right five up, red lights to start this career mode on pole position as Daniel Ricciardo. And away we go. We've had an OK start, but Hamilton's had a lightning start. We're going to go over to the right-hand side. We've almost hit him, in fact. And we're stuck on the outside. We're going to brave it around the outside, going through turn one and two. And it looks like we've just okay, about held it. Going Let's through turns to one speed. and two, we've held the lead of the Australian Grand Prix. We now come down into turn three, um, 
We've, we've, Hamilton wasn't really attacking us down into turn three, which has given us a little bit of breathing space as uh, we try and kind of find our feet in this race. And remember, the tyres we started on have already done about five laps, um, with those two, two of them being quality laps as well. So the tyres have already taken a punishing, and I really think that it's going to. We're going to struggle in this race. I don't think we're going to be able to win this race. So Hamilton's already all over the back of us, and we've made a mistake coming into the second sector. And uh, Hamilton's right all over the back of us now as we come through. We're heading towards the really fast left right chicane, and we don't want to be going side by side through here as we, we give Hamilton some space, but we've just about held it up the inside, then around the outside. And uh, Hamilton has bailed because the AI is so punchy. Uh, this year they will go for kind of crazy moves like that. Here's a replay of the start. <clears throat> Hamilton did have the jump on us and uh, we did brave it around the outside. We did run wide a little bit but uh, you know we'll, we'll let that go. Here's the view from uh, Hamilton, Hamilton's perspective. Um, he gets a really good launch actually and uh, it kind of looks like we're, he's got the lead as he comes to turn one and then we can fly around the outside. Do cut the corner a little bit but um, it's just one of those things. Um, as, uh, yeah, and he just wasn't close enough coming down into turn three. And so we have the lead at the moment, and this is the replay of Hamilton trying to brave it around the outside into the left-right chicane. As he's in the slipstream, pulls out to the right-hand side, and then does go for it around the outside, but two into, into that chicane just doesn't go. And, uh, we have managed to bring it around the outside. We do run a bit wide, giving him some extra space. But on the start of lap two, Hamilton's right all over the back of us. And uh, he's looking for a move into turn three, Willie. We broke a little bit early. The back end squirreled a little bit. And Hamilton's just gone right around the outside into turn three. Fair play, as we then run wide going through the dirty air as we get a little warning for track extending. Uh, but we're down into P2, and next up behind us is Felipe Massa. Position. Now the game just giving us an illegal overtake, and we break to let him through. We've gone back up the inside into the chicane. Absolutely fantastic move. The game just said I'd, I, I got an illegal overtake. I don't know why. Um, so we let Massa back through, um, and now onto lap four. Felipe Massa's coming back at us. The tyres are really starting to hinder us now. They've effectively done the stint they're supposed to do as we hold it around the outside coming through here. And Ma Massa tries to hold it up the inside, but we've squeezed him out. And uh, he's run a little bit wide onto the grass, but I don't think it will be long before he catches, catches back up as we now make a mistake at the end of lap five at the penultimate corner. And Massa is once again all over the back of us. Look at the tyres on there. But we have made it to our pit window. We are going to pit at the end of this lap, but Massa tries to go up the inside, we brave it around the outside, but we just haven't got the grip and we outbreak ourselves. And uh, Felipe Massa just goes around the outside um, of turn two, and Copy. that might be the last. Uh, we, I don't think we're going to be able to get past him. We've just got no grip at all. The car's sliding around, even with traction control on. There's just no grip, and we've got uh, Raikkonen and Rosberg having a ding-dong battle behind us. How long will it be before they're on the back of us? As uh, we now come into the end, uh, the third section, but we've made a mistake. The tyres have just, they've gone, they're up, we've fallen off the cliff. Raikkonen's gone up the inside, and we're trying just to hold, just trying to hold off Rosberg now, because this is the pit window, lap six and seven, as we now come into the pit lane for our mandatory stop. Um, none of the AI have pitted. I can tell you we are the first car in the field to pit. Um, and we will be putting the prime tyres on, there's the white wall tyres. And uh, it's, I can't see up my preview, I think it's a 2.4 second stop, so it's a good stop from the Red Bull boys. And uh, we've been dropped into P14, uh, P16 now. So I've been debating whether to do a mode on this channel for a while, but to, this is the first proper F1 game that I've had other than F1 to 09 on the Wii and 2011 on the 3DS, but they don't count. So I wanted to find my feet and I've worked my way up and now we're on Legend AI and I feel like this is the perfect time to do a career mode as we've jumped uh, Rosberg and the Williams of Valtteri Bottas through the pit stop phases. Um, it looked like Bottas, it, probably Rosberg actually, but we have uh, lost, we have managed to get the undercut and Viking or Massa as we do kind of get a little bit as we're desperate to try and get up onto the back of the Ferrari. He's just come out of the pits on cold prime tyres. Can we get him through here? We're really fast through the end of the first sector. We go side by side. We will have the inside line coming into this little chicane. 
and uh, we've done it. We've got past Kim Ryden and a really good move. I remember it when I first my my first career mode, I pulled a similar move off as Daniel Kvyat, but we make a mistake at the end of the lap at the penultimate corner once again, and Kimi Ryken is going to be all over the back of us. Um, uh, as we come down towards turn one, as I was saying before, I just wanted to get some speed at the game before I uh, stuck it on uh, YouTube. Hopefully, this season series is is what you guys want. And, uh, hopefully, uh, we can go to the end. As on lap ten, we're starting to close upon Felipe Massa, and we have the DRS as well. So maybe we can get Daniel Ricciardo's home podium. After all, we did start on pole. Um, I'm not entirely sure who's in second place. Uh, at the moment, it could be Sebastian Vettel, but I'm not sure because I know Rosberg's behind us, and I know Kimi Raikkonen is behind us. Um, as Kimi did have a bit of a look uh, coming into uh, the final sector, as we're now going to have a look, we've had a great run through the middle sector, and now we're coming having a move at Felipe Massa. We've made contact, we've uh, lost the back end a little bit, and now Kimi Raikkonen is trying to go around the outside. I didn't even know he was there. We have made body contact, and now. Kimi Raikkonen still trying to have a go up the inside. Rosberg's going, gone around the outside of Kimi Raikkonen. And we're, we're just there trying to keep up with Felipe Massa, who's just about pulled away after all this carnage in the final sector. And now Rosberg's trying to have a go at us as we start lap 12. As the pace just really isn't there as we make a miss. We run wide coming through there. Turn one and two. We've made a miss. We've uh, run wide and we made contact with Rosberg. We've made contact and we've got front wing damage. Uh, damage is on, but for some reason, um, you'll see on the graphic in a minute, we have front wing damage and the car is understeering like crazy at the moment. As we're now battling with Kimi Raikkonen, we make contact with Raikkonen as well. Rosberg's fallen down the field as we now run wide with the understeer from the front wing. Although we ha it doesn't, um, you can't see the bit that's fallen off because the game's the car for the car it hasn't fallen off, but. We do pit at the end of the end of the lap as the car was just pretty much undrivable and uh, we'd lost the position to Raikkonen as we're coming in. Three laps from home for a set of option tyres. We've now got the freshest tyres in the field. What can we do from here? So, yeah, I think I've, I've watched it back a few times and I do think the contact with Nico Rosberg was quite I did lose the back end coming through turns one and two. And we didn't have great pace on the primes in practice, and I was really worried about that. And it kind of came to bite us. The tyre wear wasn't great for us this race, and it was really hampered by our opening stint, the mistake we made in Q2. But now uh, we're on lap 13, going through the high speed chicane. And we've got a run of Felipe Nasa now, and we've been squeezed by Nasa, but we've kept our foot in it. And we're now going to try and go up the inside of Carlos Sainz. A brilliant move, a double overtake there, and we're back up to P13. With only a couple of laps to go, we're on the penalty match lap now as we're trying to get past Fernando Alonso up the inside, late braking, as we're now going to flick it to the outside. We've got so much grip of these, as these guys are on uh, badly worn prying tyres, and Alonso squeezing us to the grass, and as a kind of a bit of payback, we dive for the apex to force him out. And we're now only one place away from the points, which is Nico Hulkenberg, as just a few corners out, we're going up the inside and we're going to make contact with Maldonado. Nothing too serious though as now we're looking to get P9 from the Venezuelan in the Lotus um, as we're going to go up the inside into the high speed chicane yes we are, we give him some space by just to cutting the corner a little bit and we're now heading off, to, heading off to try and catch Sergio Perez and as we start the final lap now we're right on the back of Perez we're going to go up the inside into turn one, yes we are, easy, easy move we do run wide a little bit um, you know we've really struggled in a couple of corners on this track the whole weekend really and now we're coming through the high speed chain in the final lap. We've gone around the outside of Daniel Kvyat. And are we going to get Max Verstappen as well? Yes, we are. As we come now through and we made contact with Verstappen. That one definitely was our fault. I got a bit overexcited. I just died for the apex. I didn't leave Verstappen room and I'll put my hands up. Um, but we are going to come through to, uh, for P5. So that contact with Rosberg and the extra pit stop has only cost us one place. And it's not a bad result. We did start on pole, but um, it could have been better. It could have been worse. Five points, a solid uh, ten point. Five points? Fifth place, a solid ten points for us. Ricardo isn't too happy. It's been a bit of a messy afternoon um, for Daniel Ricardo. 
But Lewis Hamilton won the uh, Australian Grand Prix from Kimi Raikkonen, believe it or not. He was behind us and Rosberg after all that carnage kicked off. Then uh, Vettel, Bottas, then us, Kvyat, Perez, Hulkenberg, Maldonado, Alonso, Sainz, and Massa dropped to 12th. I have no idea what happened to Felipe Massa. Uh, then it was Naza, Ericsson, Grosjean, Stevens, Verstappen, uh, Rosberg, Button, and then Merry. Uh, Verstappen fell quite a way down, and so did Rosberg with the bits of contact with us. So I think we will be say, uh, sending an apology out to them. But if you've enjoyed this, guys, smash that subscribe button, smash the like button, and show your love for this series. Uh, next up is Malaysia. Hopefully that will come out soon. I just need to make sure I get enough views on this one before I, uh, it goes out. So until next time, guys, goodbye, and I'll see you around. Stay high all the time.